This was a scene that broke the hearts of millions of Nigerians, especially from Kaduna State back in December of 2012. A helicopter crash at the Okoroba Forest in Nembe local government area of Bayelsa State. A crash that took the life of the former Kaduna State Governor, Patrick Yakoa, and five others as they were heading to Port Harcourt from the burial of the father of one of the aides of former President Gulag Jonathan in Bayelsa State. At the time, a visibly distressed Governor Siriake Dixon had vowed to get to the bottom of the incident. The profound sense of loss and tragedy that has befallen this state and our country. Ten years later, at this memorial in the honor of the late Patrick Yakoa, his family, friends, and well wishers are still visibly distraught at his death. The now former governors of Bayelsa and Kaduna State extol the virtues of the late Patrick Yakoa. Even at our governor's forum meetings and party governor's meetings and so on, I observed from a distance and admired this calm man. As my SSG, when my late deputy passed away and I wanted to make him the deputy governor, there was extreme resistance from Southern Kaduna. Extreme resistance. This should serve as a lesson to all of us. What is yours will come to you at the right time. Three papers are presented in his honor. First, on what is described as Yakoaism, the late Patrick Yakoa's model for a peaceful egalitarian society. Next, the prerogative of choice. And finally, the dignity of the human person. All principles the late Governor Patrick Yakoa lived by and propagated in his lifetime. As you can see, the Patrick Yakoa Foundation is launched and his widow speaks on its significance. By the time we finish the foundation, it is going to be a complete center where so many activities will be done in that center, including training of people who want to go into leadership. It's been 10 years since the death of the late Governor Patrick Yakoa of Kaduna State and both from his family and the speakers at this event, there's a lot of emotion around this tragic death. This foundation that's been launched today is supposed to help a lot of the less privileged in southern Kaduna and the message of peace which the late Governor Yakoa stood for still remains relevant today. Kayla Megua Channel, Television News.